Hello, assalamu alaikum. So Ramadan is finally here. I cannot believe that it is tomorrow. Alhamdulillah for being able to witness another Ramadan, inshallah. Today's video is all about how I decorated my house for Ramadan and it also includes fun ideas to make Ramadan a memorable month for the kids, inshallah. This year we decided to decorate my office room and make that space specifically for prayers, Quran recitation and other activities all Ramadan related. First thing that I did was I sold my old shelf where I used to keep few of my crockeries. Then we transferred this ivory colored IKEA shelf inside the office. Then I placed a jute round rug. Then we placed a boucle chair, I like to call it a teddy bear chair, which I got on a bargain from JYSK or Yusk. Then I printed a few Ramadan calendar inserts for both Hamad and Aisha. For Hamad, my 8 year old son, I found this very nice Islamic quiz inserts and for my 4 year old girl, I printed simple task inserts that would probably be appropriate for her age. In addition to the quiz inserts, I thought I'll add few tasks too in the Ramadan calendar for Hamad that would be perfect for his age. If you don't know what a Ramadan calendar is, I'll post a link down in the description explaining what it is all about. For my kids, Ramadan equals Ramadan calendar because this is their fourth year celebrating with this. I'll also post the link for all the inserts that I've added in uh, this year's calendar down in the description box. I really wanted to post this video before two days so that you guys will have time to make all this and take uh, inspiration and idea from this video but uh, it was so tough to do everything and post on time so I'm sorry for posting this so late at the last moment. Two of the calendars shown here are from previous years uh, and uh, the small round one uh, Hamad made it for my two-year-old Omar this time. And in Omar's calendar, he will only have chocolates, obviously. Then I dusted and took out my watercolors uh, after a long time. And then I made this uh, iftar and suhoor dua and time charts. I'm planning to place it uh, near our dining table so that uh, this one would be like a daily reminder for us. If you want to do something like this, you can either do it yourself or there are many printables online. Just print that and either laminate it or put it inside a photo frame like this. And if you write on top of it with a whiteboard marker, you can erase it with a tissue and use it over and over again. Then I printed a whole lot of games for the kids. All these are from a website called Muslim Mommy Blog. These are all free printables. May Allah bless this mommy for taking the time and effort to create these games for the kids. I'll post the link for all of this down in the description box. This one is uh, for a crescent moon and dhikr star scavenger hunt. This is a fun Ramadan game for the whole family to do. Uh, the only material you need are printing out these papers and uh, cutting the dhikr stars beforehand and hiding them around the house. The crescent moon needs to be cut out and given to the children. Then uh, tie a string around the crescent moon and uh, leave a few inch of string dangled downwards. 
and whoever searches and finds the maximum amount of uh, the dhikr stars will be the winner they can stick it onto the string on the moon next is a ramadan mystery game before your children begins to solve this mystery there are a few tasks that you need to complete that that is place quran on a dressing table in your child's bedroom hide a date in the lower cabinet of the kitchen hide the prayer mat under the sofa hide zikr beads maybe in the uh, cupboard hide your hijab inside mama's cupboard or uh, somewhere else and uh, then hide uh, the father's kaftan or jalabiya by the front door you can even uh, modify some of these clues depending on uh, what you like and finally the children will have to solve the mystery and they'll get an answer every rule for all these games are given in the printables itself you can read and understand and do this very easily then i found this 15 day quran uh, completion plan i thought i'll give it a try my elder two kids have been fighting a lot recently so i believe that this kindness jar will be perfect in this situation so i filled both the jars with 30 petals so each time i see them saying a kind word to each other or any of them doing something thoughtful i would pull out a petal from the jar and whose ever jar uh, becomes empty sooner uh they will get a prize but i hope uh, they don't fight for that in the end <laughs> now when i think of it i feel there is a high possibility of that happening so i might change the rules i'm obsessed with this label maker i'm labeling almost all of the things in my house at the moment i'll uh, post the link for this uh, label maker down in the description box if you're interested I had bought few gifts for the kids nothing expensive uh, most of it are from hema for about 1 kg 2 kg maximum 3 kg so i gift wrapped all of that i bought a few islamic uh, books for the kids uh, mainly for aisha this time Uh, I wanted uh, to get uh, better ones but it was not available in Kuwait. I checked almost all the bookstores and I got these ones from that is Salasil and uh, a bookshop named uh, the English Bookshop in Avenue Small if you if you want to buy this. These are the books from previous years and I have few more books from last time. I'll be keeping everything in the book basket. My husband fixed the TP10 for me uh, after fixing I was like I should have ironed it before but uh, I just left it like that and then I decorated the room I also made a sadaka jar for that I took a mason jar and uh, cut a round template on a cardboard paper and uh, cut a small slit in the middle and kept it on top of the jar and then I secured the stainless steel ring on top of it If you're planning on gifting someone a Ramadan basket and are confused about what to put in it, hopefully this will give you an idea. I placed a prayer mat, a personal gift that I know the other person will love, Ramadan themed chocolate, a lantern, a tasbih counter, a pretty plate, a Ramadan door hanger and few packets of sweets for the kids. This Ramadan journal is perfect for kids aged between 6 to 8 years old. Uh, there are lots of activities and information in this one. I printed it out from a website named ummi.org. I kept a copy of this in the gift basket as well. My sister always gifts prayer mats to everyone and these beautiful mats were gifted by her about 6 months back but I saved it to use during Ramadan. According to her when you gift musalla to someone and when that person prays on it each time they pray we get a part of the reward that would be the best thing right 
Each year I get a new prayer dress uh, during Ramadan. This time I uh, gave this material to the tailor and got it stitched and I really liked how it turned out. I stitched the same one uh, for my daughter too. In the coming clips you can see how I decorated the room entirely for Ramadan. I'll be using the same duas which I uh, used last year because these are so good it covers almost everything. I had posted the link for this last year I think in my Instagram stories and I got a lot of messages from you guys saying how helpful it was. So I'll be posting the link for this again this time in my YouTube description box please do check it out. That's all in this video. Hope you liked it and got some inspiration from this. So sorry again for posting so late. Uh, I'll post the link for all the games and the duas and everything in the description box. Don't forget to check it out. May you all have a wonderful and blessed Ramadan and hope we all can make use of this beautiful month to the fullest. Please remember me in your duas. I'll pray for you all too. Thank you so much for watching.